In recent weeks, Kisumu County has been recording high numbers of new COVID-19 infections, with public and private hospitals being overstretched. Last week, a meeting in Kisumu chaired by Governor Anyang Nyongo and County Commissioner Josephine Ouko announced sweeping and stringent containment measures aimed at disrupting the spread of the virus. The dire situation is not in Kisumu alone, but also in other parts of the lake region, including Western Kenya. We need to take action before something drastic happens to us. I want to mention today that while the government has tried to provide isolation units, they must be manned. We want more nurses. We want more doctors. We want more laboratory technicians. Speaking at the Kenya School of Government today, Interior CS Fred Matiangi said they are monitoring the trend and will soon be announcing the way forward. Uh, managing the containment measures uh, of COVID-19 has been a tough task and we all must accept that it's one of those that have challenged us greatly. I know we are up to the task. The National Emergency Response Committee has been meeting regularly. I think by the end of today, we will have a position and we will consult uh, closely among us ourselves and with the president and a decision will be made on how we will enhance the containment measures. Following the recent surge of infections along the lake region, the county government of Kisi ordered the closure of churches in Nyaribari Churches sub-county due to the high rates of COVID-19 cases in the area. Kisumu County is now the latest after more than 150 people were arrested and charged in Kisumu on Tuesday for failing to wear face masks, keeping social distance, and other violations of COVID-19 rules. But even as the situation threatened to get out of hand in the Lake region, Uhuru Primary School in Old Jorok sub-county, Nyandarwa County, has been closed indefinitely after 20 pupils tested positive for COVID-19. Eight of the cases were discovered on Tuesday, June 15, while the remaining 12 were confirmed on Wednesday, June 16. Uh, siku ya Friday, akitokea shule ya kasema, akona maradhi ya kusubua na kichwa, anaumu wa natubo, akawa hako na, na hali mzuli, ku, kuonekana kwa muri yake hataki kula, hataki kukunywa, yani mtoto huyo hana raha ya kukaa. Our sub-county surveillance team, led by Madam Cecilia here, uh, swung into, into action, and uh, they were able to test the oral stable, and they are going home-based isolation care. So they are at home, at their homes. Over the last 24 hours, 485 people have tested positive for the virus from a sample size of 5,355. The positivity rate now stands at 9.1 percent. A total of 1,076 patients are currently admitted in various health facilities countrywide, while 4,810 patients are under the home-based isolation and care program. Meanwhile, 102 patients are fighting for their lives in different ICU facilities in the country. Fortunately, there are no reported deaths over the last 24 hours, as the cumulative fatalities remain 3,428. Chebet Birir, KTN News.